Hey everyone, I'm Efren Barraza, Service Manager at Laboratory Instrument Specialist. Here at LIS, we service and sell various laboratory equipment, such as this MB23 here. You can find a wider variety of instruments we service and sell on our website at lissci.com. Link will be down in the description. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the MB23, giving you a list of important specs, as well as showing you how to properly calibrate the scale and temperature, and how to properly test both dry and liquid food samples. This is the O-House MB23, weighing it at 4.6 pounds, measuring 11 inches in depth, 6.5 inches in width, and 5 inches in height. This unit uses an infrared heating source, and its temperature settings can range between 50 and 160 degrees Celsius, but only in 5 degree increments. The maximum weight capacity of the scale is 120 grams and holds 9 centimeter aluminum dishes. The MB23 is the least accurate in the current MB series lineup, being able to read one tenth of a percent per 10 milligram samples. To properly calibrate the instrument, you will need a precise calibration weight and temperature calibrator. Both items are sold on our website. The MB23 is very simple to calibrate. Open the lid and remove the aluminum dish. Press the tear button to zero out the scale weight. Press and hold the print button, which is also the calibration button. Once it reads cal, let go of the button and will then flash 50 grams. Now we'll take the 50 gram weight and apply it. Remove the weight when the display flashes zero. The display will flash done and go into its normal weighing mode. You can now apply the 50 gram weight to verify that the scale reads exactly 50 grams. Now to calibrate the temperature sensor. We'll be calibrating at two set points, 100 degrees Celsius and 160 degrees Celsius. Remove the pan support. Press and hold the calibration button. Let go when cal is displayed. Insert the temperature calibrator. Close the lid and it will automatically begin to calibrate the temperature sensor at both 100 and 160 degrees. You can see the temperature on the calibrator through the top vent on the lid. After 15 minutes, it will ask you to verify through the vent to see if the temperature sensor and the calibrator match 100 degrees. If not, press the up and down arrow key to make the instrument match. Once it has matched, press the tear button or enter button to accept that calibration set point. Once it is complete, it would then begin the 160 degree set point and follow the same procedure as you did with the 100 degree temperature. If either the weight or temperature calibration is wrong, please contact us here at LIS. We will consult with you on taking the proper steps to ensuring your device gets fixed and is calibrated properly. Now we'll do some sample tests. Do keep in mind, to keep test results consistent, I highly recommend there be a set standard operating procedure in place. Please refer to the Types of Samples section on page EN6 of the MB23 Operation Manual for further details on how exactly to test on the different substances. The first sample that we'll be testing is a dry food sample, which is a cereal. It is highly recommended to blend any dry type of sample, such as grains, cereal, nuts, etc. Use a blender or grinder or a food processor in order to help you achieve the best test results. First, we'll grab an aluminum dish and insert it into the sample holder. Make sure it sits correctly on the sample pan. Press the tear button to zero out the dish. Once it reads zeros, go ahead and grab your sample and apply evenly on the dish. Close the lid and press the start button. The test will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. When done, it will flash a result for you. To achieve the best performance, it is best to clean out the instrument in between tests. Remove and dispose of your sample. Move the pan holder. Remove the air shield. Using a brush, clean out the air shield. You can also remove by pulling the chamber out and clean. Insert back in. Apply a new dish. Close the lid, press tear. Remember, the instrument will be hot. Let it cool off before removing any of the items on the chamber or instrument. And that is all. 
If your lab equipment needs servicing, feel free to contact us at info at LISSCI.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Want to check out more videos on the lab equipment we service and sell here at LIS? Check out our channel and make sure to subscribe for future videos. As always, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.